Currently, the zoo stretches across 95 acres of land and houses approximately 1,893 animals. So let's go see some of those animals, starting in the wilds of Africa. The Wilds of Africa exhibit is a 25-acre tract featuring all six major African habitats, including bush, desert, forest, woodland, river, and mountain environments. One of the best and most unique ways to see the Wilds of Africa is by boarding the monorail safari. I've got my ticket, so let's go check it out. The monorail safari is the only monorail in the United States that actually changes elevation, going up and down as you tour the park. It takes you through all six African habitats in a nice, smooth ride, high above the action, with live narration telling you what you're going to be seeing as you go by. The Wilds of Africa exhibit also houses the Jake L. Hammond Gorilla Conservation Research Center and the Kimberly Clark Chimpanzee Forest Exhibit. Both offer great viewing opportunities and are great places to just monkey around. It's interesting in that you can see chimpanzees from three different vantage points, which are all very different. You can see them face to face uh, through a large glass uh, wall. You can see them uh, without anything uh, across a moat. And then you can see them 20 feet up in the air when you take the monorail. We have a good group of uh, chimps. We have about eight chimps. And uh, they're very comfortable in this. And they also can climb the trees, which you often don't get to see in other exhibits. A.D. Martin Sr. Forest Aviary. Zoo visitors get the chance to see a variety of beautiful African birds in a free flight enclosure. Over 20 different types of African birds can be found here in this North Texas landscape that's been virtually transformed into an African habitat. The Wilds of Africa also includes exhibits with meerkats, mandrel baboons, lesser flamingos, and many other types of animals along the nature trail, including the okapi. Which are uh, very rare relatives of uh, giraffe. And we have uh, about one quarter of the, the captive population in the U.S. Almost 30 okapi have been born in the Dallas Zoo, and their okapi breeding program is one of the most successful in the country. 